Jamie Group One racing this weekend. You've got uh, on Trivier uh, coming back from the Telegraph. How did you assess the performance there? Just ended up too far back. Um, plain and simple. She still ran good figures, uh, but when we ended up back near last and sort of instead of midfield with cover, then, then it was always going to be impossible. But particularly when Levante jumped so well and put herself up in the race, um, just not not possible to run the sectionals that she needed to to run to win the race from where she was. So. Um, that we're happy with her, everything's gone according to plan. Um, she travelled home well and, and admittedly was a bit tired for a few days, but just had a, had a couple of cruisy days. Uh, had a nice little sort of uh, confidence boosting trial for her. We wanted to sort of get her out of the barriers and get her up in the trial a bit and just let her cruise. And, um, I thought she tried really well. I said he, he could have won the heat if he needed to, um, but she was just there to, to get a bit of confidence back and we think she's gone the right way since then. Is she back to her railway form? Uh, I don't think she ever lost her railway form. Um, we were just beaten by the circumstances of the Telegraph, so yeah, I, I've got no problems with it. Okay, Marcus Aurelius comes out of Caracas Million Night. Uh, how's he going? Sorry. Yeah, he's, he's going well enough. He just got uh, uh, sort of they went really went along in the, in the Concord and Babylon Berlin sort of set up a general tempo, and we were just sort of back and, and floundering a little bit. But um, uh, 1400 will suit him better. Um, probably back left hand it will suit him a, a little bit better as well. He's a horse that probably wants to be running on top of the ground. Um, but this is basically just fitting him for Otaki. Even Bell also heads to the, the Group 3 that's been moved from New Plymouth to Tarapa. Obviously, yeah, there was confidence in the camp with her going into last week's race. What about this weekend? Yeah, I don't think anything's changed. Um, she did some nice work here on, on Tuesday morning and she'll have a pretty quiet, pretty quiet time of it for the rest of the week. But um, yeah, everything's gone according to plan there. We think she's a filly that's got above average ability. and. Um, yeah, I think that she's uh, ready to run well. Should be a really good top three chance. OK, the uh, Alice Phyllis Classic uh, Group 2, and obviously a race that's pretty dear to the stable. A uh, couple of runners there who we both saw, we saw them both in that exhibition, Gallop, Belle en Rouge, and, and, uh, and Self Obsession. Yep, both going well. Um, good to have a couple of nice chances in the, in the boss's race, and, and even you know having a homebred filly in there as well in Belle en Rouge, who's um, currently filly of the year at the, at the moment, so we're going to try and keep it that way. Um, but they've had a little, both of them had a little break since running on Boxing Day and New Year's Day and just thought it was a good opportunity to give them a bit of a fresh because um, didn't think they were going to get right through the oaks sort of staying in the whole time. So they're going to be a little bit vulnerable in terms of their fitness and um, particularly if the, if the rain arrived and it got really testing. Um, but their work's been solid, they're where they need to be uh, and they'll improve into their next run and then hopefully be peaking for the oaks.